we've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be... B Milton, look! Get out! In the flesh. Hail, Witcher! Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. We are short. We share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land still is at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planterers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. No point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad or possibly worse will come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil, there is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. Must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate, for their lives? A burden we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wisely. We know neither this land, nor its peoples, nor its customs. And we have come with another duty altogether. Uh, ah, how I long to return to Tucson, where all is simpler. Soon, my friend, soon. First, let us convey our missive to Geralt in the manner tradition ordains. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved, Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near.
sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from Sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. 
If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. That's it, Roach. Brave kid, Guillaume. Parmarin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. To the night's end, in the service of her gracious magnificence, when we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. hey -ya. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes. The stench is fierce. Got gas. Careful. Looking. 
junk that came down the river. We must keep searching. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Accessory clearly. Need to comb the bank. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed D.L.C. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Toussaint. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrit's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. Uh, oh. A watering hole for oh, traders, smugglers, you. boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. What? With no lads brave enough? Of course we have, but bravery is not enough against the beast. The wheels dawn the powers. Nepius has ruptured fins. That tramp is the failed witcher. Ducal clerks looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. Such good fortune you found us. By my troth! Could that be the musty scent of fresh pâté? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyrin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land, 
by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please. Or we shall be here till winter. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicofaro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. In the works today. Did you hear that? Swilling wine, rolling. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What? Show me what you got in stock. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I said. Thanks. By the prophet's wings. Fair the unwitching. What's in the world?
Not so fast, Roach. I'm walking on water, just like... Like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose... Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in so... What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know, for I know who you are. To acquire the sword, you must first convince me you are worthy. The inscriptions on the stones describe the five virtues. Voila, honor, wisdom, sympathy, and generosity. During your time in Tucson, you can prove these virtues dwell in your heart. In this world, there are many in need. They will help you prove your chivalry. Slow now, whoa. Whoa there, Roach. Faster. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry.
throat torn open by man-like jaws. Man-like, except for long fangs. In the cellar, gotta be. Why'd you kill these people? Clearly wasn't for their blood. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave.
things. Waterlogged, both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging with coins. Elf Guardian Florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Third hand. A spare. Except it's clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. The creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand... No. Pouch shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of... Professional. I like to... What have you got there?
so long. Need to speak to the Duchess, urgently. All right, you scamps. Store is done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? <clears throat> yeah. Virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The Cutter of Casteldaccia, too. Moral victory, that's what counts. Rubbish! Now, that will do for questions. <laughs> Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we... Lead the way. Fighting. Elf Guardian gladiators. Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shamar? Maybe some elves on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells jumping from your ass? It's your monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Let's go. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. <laughs> And that's the witch's life. 
snuff. All our hopes for us has turned to dust. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon Time the witcher shall triumph against all odds. <laughs> Trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right! Long live Garrett the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast! Guillaume, the lot came damned close to dying. I'm... fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt. We must... talk. Vivian. You shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your Grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly... That entrance, so spectacular. Your oh, Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But wherever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace. Witcher. 
Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corfo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you... Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Yes, Your Grace. The law of surprise. Time honored. Hmm. We shall be counted. The surprises we encounter on a daily basis would be of no value to one such as you. What awaits at the palace are edicts to sign and portraits of suitors from far off lands. I fear you would find little use for either. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. Ah, Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How'd it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast-goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his... He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great... So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a... Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claw. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head, 
and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady deal. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights faced... He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir Delacroix. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the... Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds, or in the palace garden. Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me, something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... The... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Your Grace, we need to find Melton, immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Your Grace! Your Highness, I... Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Seems right at home in the saddle.
corner. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find Unicorn's Horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hair, Milton, hides. I mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option. But time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flaunt its writ and brought it to... On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and... The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find... All clear? Then let's get to it. Doublets, none of which are suitable to show myself. If one were to call a state courageous or coward, ah! part of the state would run them to mind. But this is no true unicorn. Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey folks, gonna have to ruin your fun, sorry. Who's that? likes carrots. Maybe Unicorn will too. This is an outrage. An outrage, I tell you. It's against the rules.
say to a delicious crunchy carrot? Listen. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Comrant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace. When a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb box wreck! This ruins the game! Disgraceful! If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Let's see. Groan with ease gives us green, right? And mouse with the head of hard cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius! Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed, but only one of the locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is then. Let's go.
What was that? I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxa who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I have but one victim left, but <sighs> you'll not get the chance.
to stay where you are. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened, it was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. You being here, not some fortunate coincidence, I take it. Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one knight since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Awfully good of him. But do I need to know this? Yes. So you'll understand Detlaf is no cold-blooded killer. I believe he's landed in some mess and he sees no way out. What makes you say that? Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men. Their world, its rules, its conventions. 
He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? Gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like- Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced- Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Chaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. to ply his trade.